And here we are going up the Lynx High Roller, big Ferris wheel in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's about uh, 4.30, it's not super night, but the price was half the price if you went during the daytime. Nighttime it was double, which is pushing $100. So we were here, and we thought, hey, let's just go ahead and do it now. So let's go see how this works out. Don't know. They say it takes a half an hour. Uh oh, looks like they're gonna try to take our picture. So let's go ahead and get through here, just check in area. Okay, we said we weren't gonna have our picture taken, so here we are. domes. Wow, I shouldn't say little dome, these things look huge. Yeah. Oh. And the zip line we were supposed to fly, we just came from there, and it's closed for maintenance for a friggin' month. Can you believe that crap? Anyway, so we're here. Oh, and we're gonna go get one. Thank you. Not a problem. Check it out. Oh, if the doors closed, that would be cooler than crap, wouldn't it? We'd be laying it. Close the doors, close the doors, hurry up, close the doors, close the doors. Come on, close the doors. Well, I don't really care. As long as these doors close, we're the only ones in it. Wouldn't that be awesome? Come on, close the door, close the door, close the door. Close the door. Oh, no, no, close, close. Oh, no, 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 no. Close, 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 close. Oh, my gosh. Oh, tell me this wasn't worth coming now. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Here we go. A half an hour on this thing. This thing takes a half an hour to go around. And we're the only ones in it. That is so cool. <laughs> I had this thing zoomed in. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. We're the only ones in here. In Vegas. <laughs> Not crowded, that's a rare shit right there. Woo! Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that sign over there. Welcome to the shot show. Alright, man over. I think it's over there. I have my glasses on, I can't see. Oh, because that's the Caesars. That's the other part of the shot show I haven't been to yet. I haven't even been to the Caesars for them yet. Oh, this is so awesome. We're the only ones in here. Yeah, can you tell I'm a little excited? No screaming kids? <laughs> nice. This is going to be awesome. Check this. Oh, there's the, uh, what's that called? This biosphere? Biosphere. I think it's called the biosphere. We'll, we'll definitely get some more video of that when we get up above. Check this out. This is awesome. Uh oh, I'm using adjectives. Too many adjectives. Now I'm being a YouTuber. Okay, so how many adjectives? Start going. Spectacular. Awesome. Excited. Uh, exuberant. Phenomenal. Come on, give me some. All those people on YouTube, man, they must look at an adjective dictionary whenever they're talking about all their adventures. <laughs> wow. I didn't either. Uh, let's go back to the biosphere. I think it's called biosphere, but they just call it the spear, I think. Oh, this was totally worth coming right now. Totally. Oh, hey, look, check this out. It shows your elevation. Let me see if I can get in on that. We're at 140 feet. Elapsed time, three minutes. Oop. There we go. 146 feet. Hey, check out the people down there on the open dock bus. Hey, elbow wave. Be the tourist. 
<laughs> wow. This is pretty dang cool. Look at that bubble down there. Woo. What's our elevation? 200 feet. Oh, right there. 200 feet. Whoa, kind of freaky looking over the edge, huh? The sphere experiment. Maybe it is just a sphere. It is a sphere. I, I always thought it was a biosphere. Maybe that was that. Oh, was that that. Uh, oh, what's his name? Charlie Shore? No. Something Let me tell you about a character. I think that was Biosphere, the Rosie movie. Siegel. <laughs> was a notorious monster, but he was also a visionary. In the early 1940s, he came to the Nevada desert and envisioned an oasis. An oasis of nightclubs, casinos, hotels, showrooms. You know, Vegas. In 1946, Siegel gained control of the Las Vegas Hotel. I won't tell you exactly how he did it, but it wasn't pretty. Rumor has it, he renamed it the Flamingo after his girlfriend Virginia Hill and her long skinny legs. Bugsy spent big fixing up the Flamingo, lining up the best in booze, food, entertainment, and gambling. Huh? Sound familiar? Starting to get up a little bit higher over here. What are we at now? 250 feet. I'm starting to see more. Bugsy, when the hotel did open in December of 46, problems mounted. The casino was losing and he was forced to shut down. He tried to reboot the project a few months later, but Siegel was out of time. That summer, Bugsy was shot dead, and his killer was never found. Whoa, going up. It feels like an elevator right here. But Bugsy's idea put him at the forefront of the boom to develop Vegas into a gambler's paradise. One, he's still recognized for today. You can even check out a memorial to him on the site where the flamingo originally stood, in the middle of the current flamingo's wildlife habitat. Oh, look at that. The sun's even coming up over the flamingo. <laughs> Crazy. With the groundwork for what the valley could become laid out, Las Vegas was now open for business. By 1954, more than 8 million visitors were coming to town and laying down $200 million a year. Some were even lucky enough to take a few bucks home. Making Vegas a destination for quick wins along with glitz and Jeez, we're not even halfway up yet. <laughs> Soon. Las Vegas began attracting some of the country's top performers. Emergency Elvis call button on opposite sides. Hit me, hit me, hit me. 1962, audiences flocked to see the Rat Pack in action as they played to packed houses. Oop, wrong way. There we go. Whoa. Vegas took another leap forward with the opening of its most lavish resort of the time, Caesar's Palace. This stunning masterpiece was a game changer for the Vegas Strip and game set the bar for all future Vegas casinos and resorts. The Venetian and there's Treasure Island right behind it. Hey, 
you are in cabin 22. Uh, hmm. Don't know how they're gonna get me. Oh, uh, there's the airport. Uh, I think that's called uh, McLaren. McLaren uh, Airport. It's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, geez, there's a mirage. All right, we still keep seeing stuff every time. We go up a little bit. Oh, check out the pool down there. Uh, Harris, Haraz. The Mirage, Caesar's Palace. Wow, look at that view. But there's a lot you can see up here beyond the Cosmo Fountain, Flamingo. Oh, uh, Mandolin Bay. God, it looks so close. So that's all the way at the other end of the strip. Wow. 120 miles away, which protects the northwest corner of the Mojave Desert and includes Badwater Basin, the lowest point in North America. Wow. So 280 feet below sea level. On the other side of Lake Mead. Hey, we're back now. We got up. We're at. Uh, what are we at? 1200. Huh? 1200. We're not 1200. 510. 1200 feet. Yeah, that's pretty big. Anyway, check that out. There's a damn golf course that we just came up above. That is pretty, and it is green. Green in the desert. <laughs> that's a water bill. <laughs> yeah, it actually is the spear. So it's not a biosphere. Pauly Shore, that's his name, Pauly Shore. Remember him and, um, no, no, I can't remember the other guy's name. They were in that bios, oh, that was called Biodome. Again, still not, okay, never mind, because neither one of those even made sense. Hey, check out the sun over there in the mountain. It's pretty. For the desert, it is. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yep. There's Trump Tower over here. That's gonna be marvelous. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be fabulous. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Look at the ship. Wait, 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 what ship? What ship? Look at the window and then look right over to the right, up on the very top of the roof. The ship? Oh you mean the stratosphere? Oh, it looks like a ship from this way. That's the stratosphere. Right above that building? Yes. Yeah, that should be, I think that's a stratosphere. Well, it looks like a ship from here because the building's blocking it. Yeah, here, I'll zoom in what she's talking about. She was thinking that an uh, uh, alien was landing on there. Oh, let me get back in focus. No, that's a stratosphere. We were actually up there, and if things go right, hey, we're a lot closer there than we are down to New York, New York. I was gonna jump off of that stratosphere. Oh my gosh, that just got my heart pumping thinking about it. The weather finally cleared up. We could go over there and do that now. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, that's a stratosphere. 
All right. Oh, we need to go Ten, the other side now because I think we're eight, starting to go seven, down. Oh, here six, we go. That's the five, countdown. Four, three, two, five hundred and. Congratulations. 550 feet, so we're exactly on the top right now, 550 feet. Oh, we're high rollers. Hey, you know what? We're the only ones in here. We can do the mile high club. Well, half a mile high. <laughs> a few moments later. <laughs> Hey, look at that pool. That's nice. I saw that earlier when we were halfway up. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. And that's way up on the rooftops. Yep, and that's at the Flamingo. to see on our descent, especially when we can travel back in time to this very same spot some 200 million years ago. In the middle of the Triassic era, what is now Las Vegas was submerged beneath an ancient inland sea with unique and ferocious prehistoric creatures. Wow. Oh, look at the sun went behind the clouds. By 100 million years ago, the sea had evaporated and was then populated with land Hey, Amy, we're going to have to go to the Rio and do that zip line since this one didn't happen. Of course, that one's not as good as this one, but... All of this was contained within the Las Vegas Basin. Wow, that's Maybe pretty cool looking. looking. Look at the palm trees and stuff down there. It's probably close because of the time of year it is. Because I don't see a person walking around at all. Well, considering it's only like 50 degrees, I don't think it's really going to be a I would be. It's warm out. 50 degrees is good. Nice walking temperature. Whoa, ooh. I don't know if this, they never show how high you really are. Native Americans remained in the area's exclusive residence until 1829, when a Mexican scout reached a mesa overlooking this great valley and saw its desert grass and cool springs. He named it Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Boy, they sure do got some little jellyfish on there. Say hi to the grandkids. Hi, Aria. Hi, David. <laughs> hi, above Las Vegas. The lights are all coming on now. It'd be really cool to do this at nighttime, but geez, for a little bit double the price. And there's no way in heck we're gonna get the whole car to ourselves. I'll take this. Plus the video picks up a little bit better too than pure night. But night does look cool. We have another video on there. We did. We were at the top of the stratosphere. We did a little, uh, I don't know, just a couple minute video of it. Las Vegas strip at night from there, so you can see that if you want to, and then you can actually see with all the lights on it. Such as John C. Fremont but largely remained a small frontier town in the middle of the desert with a population of 400 people. I thought they were going to catch the uh, water show. Only one word oh, is that the Bellagio? Is that right? Bellagio. Yeah, yeah, Bellagio, right? Uh, yeah. Museum, yeah. Yeah, Bellagio. Where's my finger? There, Bellagio. And I don't know if they do the water show there. We saw it last time when we were here. Oh, that would be pretty cool if they cranked it up right now, wouldn't it? Yeah. Lake Mead, the nation's largest reservoir, which
chest over it. Because they got certain times that it runs and that's when the people really line up. Oh, that's the main strip right down there too, right? Yes. Yeah, that's the main strip. Well, let me see if I can see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the main Las Vegas strip there. And the Bellagio, and that's... I don't know if they do the water. You would think they would do it year-round. It ain't like it freezes here. But you never know. Sun setting on the mountains. What they call this the Lynx Promenade? Yes. That's the Lynx Promenade. That's where we walked to get onto it. We get done here, we're gonna go down there to I guess I got some really good uh, uh, barbecue. Smell really good walking down there. It's like a little little city areas. It's really cool. It's kind of like uh, oh, what's that? Uh, Bur Bourbon Street? Uh, no, not Bourbon Street. Fremont. No, uh, in in uh, Louisiana. Yeah, Bourbon Street, right? Yes, Bourbon Street. Yeah, it's like kind of like Bourbon Street, I guess. Or something like that. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, there goes the monorail. Yeah, we were supposed to zip that hole. Yep, yeah, yeah, we were supposed to zip right from there all the way down. Actually, that uh, promenade, and you got off right here. We got up there to get tickets, and it says it's closed for maintenance. Oh, that sucked. We were planning on doing that one. We did the Fremont. We had a video of that one, too. Yeah, we did the Fremont Street one, where we zip lined uh, Superman style over uh, Fremont Street. And we're thinking we're gonna go hit that one again. We might try to do that one at night when it's really lit up, but just time, time will tell. We got so much stuff we're trying to get done. Plus, I actually have to go to the shot show because that's kind of my job. So I gotta go there and get some stuff lined up. And when I'm done with the shot show, I do stuff like this. So we're trying to pack it, put, pack in as much as we can in between. In a few minutes, our journey together will come to an end. But in truth, time, out, 20 minutes, and they said, I think they said it, this is a. I said, it takes 30 minutes to do this, right? It goes, yeah, half hour. <laughs> okay. Tacos to burgers, here's the contest. There are plenty of options to be fueled before you set off on your next Vegas adventure. And we walked here from our hotel, which is. I don't even know. Oh, actually, I think if I don't have my glasses, I think. Our hotel is right there. You see here, yeah. right? We walked out. Put your finger in the, in the in the picture so you can see it. Get your finger in the camera. No. Sorry. <laughs> There's your finger. Point to it. Right there. Let me. Are you pointing to it? Are you looking yes. at the screen? Move it over. There you go. Where's our hotel? Vegas Where are you going? It's sitting right. <laughs> it's over that way. Let's go. Let's say that. Look where the Westin is, right across the area by the yeah, yeah. you know, we're in there. <laughs> you don't know how to put your finger here and then do it, right? See? Look, look. There. Yes, I know. What? Sorry. What? I lied. It's right behind the Westin Hotel. It is? Yeah, no, I thought it was over there. No, that's Tuscan Casino. If you look oh. right down here. Okay, let's put it this way. We don't know where the hell our hotel is, but it's somewhere in that direction. Let's go with that. <laughs> but we walked here, probably took us uh, 20 minutes. Yeah. Maybe, maybe 20 minutes. With all the road closer. Yeah, because uh, that, that road there is, that's uh, Flamingo. Flamingo? Yeah. Yeah, the Flamingo is closed, but luckily the uh, sidewalks were still open. Prepare for a night of magic with Matt Franca, winner of America's Got Talent. He's so good, he even made himself disappear from a cabin right here on the high roller. Or 
check out how Caesar's Palace continues to raise the bar for incredible entertainment and top performers. Oh, we're coming down. We got about four globes left. So we're at uh, 175 feet. Oh, Penn and Teller. They're at the Rio. We just thinking about checking them out too. Maybe we can go try to do Penn and Teller at the Rio and then also do their little zip line thingy over there. Maybe. Just time will tell. Wow, look at that traffic. All the way back there. Caesar's Forum. Oh, this is where you park. You could park, I guess, for the for the shot show. See, because this is going to Caesar's Forum right there. And you can park here. Of course, we got a system down pretty good where you know, she's not allowed to go in, but she drops me off right there at the front, comes back to the room, takes a little nap. I call her, tell her, come pick me up, I'm done. And then we take off and do stuff like this. So that's pretty cool. Sun going down, lights coming on. Oh, look at that spear. That's pretty cool actually looking. Man, it's so expensive to go in there and see some kind of show, some light show. It's like 169 bucks last time I looked. I'm sure it has a lot to do with what you're looking and watching, but that's just too crazy. That's 169 a person. Because it's brand new, there's still construction all over. The whole roads are closed all around it. And it's, they got cops everywhere directing traffic because it's just a madhouse. But the outside definitely is cool. We can actually see part of it from our hotel room. You can actually see the very top of it. But it has some, it does some really cool stuff like it's doing right now. And it does it all night long. It just lights up the sky. We, we leave our curtains open in the room and you can just see the sky lighting up from all the lights from this thing. It actually looks like uh, lightning. Excuse me. It looks like lightning because it just, it just lights up the sky so good. All right, looks like we're getting ready to disembark. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this thing running. And we're coming down in. And that was a pretty cool ride. What it cost? Where'd you go? What it cost? Fifty-eight dollars total for both of us. Yes. Yeah, fifty-eight. Yeah, not bad at all. And we had this whole car to ourselves. So that was pretty cool. That was actually really. That was the coolest part. So again, really cool. Towering over Las Vegas on the high roller. We're at the end of our journey together. We hope you enjoyed the high roller experience <clears throat> and wish you all the luck in the world during your visit to Las Vegas. Please follow all instructions for safety. Now we're gonna go get some food. And, entry and we're gonna figure out while we're eating what our next adventure is gonna be. Hopefully something good or we just wind up back in the room. We don't know. Here we go. Twenty six minutes, forty seven feet. Oh, look at that. There's still not really a big line. Hey, we could go do it again, but I bet you there's no way in hell we would get we get this by ourselves. You will be exiting the doors on the other side of the cabin. All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. Lights are on the doors will begin flashing to indicate which doors to exit the cabin. Be sure to gather all your belongings, including children. <laughs> including children. Don't forget your children. <laughs> We're going to get another ride. Hey, that'd be a half-hour babysitter. <laughs> Watch your step. All right. That was the high roller in uh, Las Vegas. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Say goodnight, Gracie. Goodnight, Gracie. Thanks for making the high roller a part of your day.